There we go. Okay, great. So everyone should have their workbook. If you don't have a workbook, again, like I'm, I'm going to say it one more time, uh, you don't need it. Uh, but for us, it's great. I did and it didn't work. Okay, um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'm already recording. Um, hopefully you can like see this and, and if not, you can always rewatch the re-recording of this video. I apologize, Ann. I don't know what's going on. Otherwise, the only thing I can tell you is that uh, turn on the closed captions. Yeah, there you go. Mr. Right. Moe, if she yeah, can't up? hear, then she can't hear you. All right. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to open the workbook up. We're going to see what we did so far. I know we did some color theory. And starting with the color wheel, uh, we're going over the workbook again. Just look at the screen. You'll know what we're doing. All right, here we go. So the color wheel we worked on last week, and we talked about that there are more than six colors in the color wheel. And we added six more using tertiary colors. So current tertiary colors are colors that are in between the secondary and primary colors to fill in the rest of the color wheel. For instance, between red and orange, it's red orange, or between blue violet and red violet, it's violet. So there are more colors on the color wheel. And if you divide in half a certain way, you will have warm colors on one side and cool colors on the other side. So look how I divided my color wheel in half. Okay, so what I want you guys to do with a pencil or a marker, I want you guys to make a dividing line right now going from between the red and violet, or sorry, the red, violet, and the red, and then draw a line going diagonally a little bit, and then end off between the green and the yellow green. Can you guys do that for me right now? So just draw a line right here, and then all the way across, just like so. While you guys are doing that, let me just read the comments real quick. Okay, yeah, everyone's fine. Okay, so, and just, hold on, give me one sec, guys. All right, uh, problem solved. <laughs> if, you can't hear, if they can't hear me, they can just watch my screen. All right, so we just divide this in half. And the reason why we divide in half is because this side will be the cool colors, and this side will be the warm colors. There's six on each side, and since there's six on each side, if you just turn your page to the next one right here, we have a couple of blank spaces in your page, and I already filled it in. So for the warm colors, I filled it in. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And on this side, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to need red, red, orange, orange yellow, orange, yellow, and yellow, green. And you're going to put them in these six boxes right here. And then for the cool colors, it's green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet, and red, violet. And those six colors go on these squares right here. Mr. Mill? Yes. So are we, so on the warm color side are we putting all six colors like all the colors we used on that side and then for the cool colors we're using all those yep so that's why we we made a dividing okay. line right in the middle right here of our color wheel okay. and then everything on okay. this side is warm and everything on this side is cool so that's okay thank you fun. I right, don't worry about the complementary colors and those colors quite yet. I just want to give you guys some time to do that. And if you guys are done early with the warm and cool colors right here, you can work on the rainbow. You guys don't know, remember what the rainbow is? It is Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violets. So don't worry about the analog uh, complementary colors and analogous colors yet. Um, I think I will leave this one on the page. Actually, no, I'll do something better. I'll just take this page out. And then I'll just put it right beside it, just like this. All right.
All right, sorry about that. I'll just answering some questions on the, the comments. All right. Can you hold it up? Can you hold it up for just a couple more seconds or another minute, please? Okay, there we go. I apologize that some people can't hear us. I don't know why we're having so much difficulty, difficulty this day. All right. Okay, Um, how's everyone doing? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to move on. Give me a thumbs down if you need more time. Okay, that's a lot. All right. Um, we're going to wait a little bit longer. Okay, Kellen, thanks for letting me know. Ava, thanks for letting me know. All right. I like how everyone's working really hard on this. I know it's a lot of work. Um, I'd be doing it with you if I didn't do it with the other class already. All right. Um, I am still going to leave this up. I'm not going to move any of these papers anytime soon. And with that said, I am going to move on. So just keep your ears open while you guys continue to work on the warm, cool, and rainbow parts of the worksheet. And then I can talk about the next part. All right, the next part is called complementary and analogous colors. So these are two different ways to combine colors. And they're both using the color wheel in a certain way. So complementary colors are opposites on the color wheel, and they are called complementary. So if red was my first choice I made, and I colored it red, then the complementary color of red is green, because notice on my color wheel, it's on the opposite side of it. That's why I made red and green right next to each other in this first uh, pair of blocks right here. All right, I'm going to quiz you guys on a couple of them. All right, who could tell me by raising their hand what is a complementary? Sorry, what is the complementary color of orange? Anyone know? So you can raise your hand if you know the answer. I'm going to color this block orange, and someone can tell me what should I put in the block next to it, connected to it. What is the complementary color of orange? Anyone know? I'm going to pick Kellen. Um, wouldn't it be blue? Yeah. It's directly across from orange. So I'm going to color the block next to it blue. Good job. All right, let's try another one. What is the complementary color of yellow? What's the complementary color of yellow? Anyone know? No one, really? Complementary colors are colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel. So what is I the see some hands, color? Mr. Mel. What was that? I, I see some hands. Oh, you do? You do? Oh, I see some hands, too. I see, I see about five, yeah. OK, let's try pen. I think he hit his end call on accident. Oh, OK. Uh, <laughs> Triasia? Violet? Yeah. So the complementary color of yellow is violet. Good job. And then you can kind of do your own colors uh, on those last three pairs right here. All right, let's do anal uh, so let's talk about analogous color schemes before we run out of time here. All right, so analogous colors are colors that are close or near each other on the color wheel. So if complementary colors are on the opposite sides, analogous colors are colors that are near each other or beside each other. So that's why they have three blocks connected to each other like this, because we're talking about colors that are near each other. So over here, my first example, I made red. And then I kind of made colors that are near each other. I could have picked red violet, but I didn't. I went this direction. I went red, then I made red orange, then I made orange. So these are all 
analogous colors to each other. All right, so if I were to pick green, wait, Mr. Mel, somewhere, yes. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Yeah. I did okay. that part already. That's right. Okay, so if I were to pick green, what are the analogous color possibilities for green? Anyone know? Again, the definition of analogous colors are colors that are next to each other or close to each other in the color wheel. What is an analogous color of green? I'm gonna pick Grace. Yellow green and blue green. Good job, those are analogous colors of green. So if I were to put green right directly in the middle of this box, and then I would put the following around it, I would put yellow green on one side, and I'll put blue green on the other side. Good job. All right, and then you guys can fill out the rest on your own. Now that you guys know what the differences between both of them are, and again, complementary colors are on the opposite sides of each other. And then analysis colors are near each other. It's okay if you can't hear, as long as you guys are watching and understanding what's going on, it should be pretty simple. All right, the time now is 12.58. Um, I am going to have to log off and go to my fifth grade classes. But um, you guys can continue this. And it looks like for next week, we're going to be working with facial proportions. So that's for next week. All right, that's basically it. I'm going to put my video Bye. camera on. So I can say goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.